again. So this one is actually something that I was talking about last time, how um, when someone is a longtime Patreon subscriber, they kind of asked me to draw new things. And this time I was actually asked to draw my OC with their OC. And I was so happy about this. Like, I... Uh, out of all the times that I've done Patreon art, no one has ever asked me to draw my own character and I just thought that that is the sweetest thing ever. I think that was so nice of him to ask me to draw my character alongside his. Uh, so as you can see, we are both little furries here. He is a Nanachi, but I am just a little chibi furry. I am not a Nanachi. Please don't call me a Nanachi. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um... I had a lot of fun with this one. I actually genuinely was so thrilled to be able to draw my own character. I draw a lot of these Patreon arts a month and I, I then have other things to do. You know, I have university things, I have uh, modeling stuff, I have just streams and stuff. I have so many other things to do that I very rarely get to draw my own characters. And I, I love my characters, I love them so much, I just don't really get a chance to draw them. Like, I would love to, but it's really hard to find the free time. So, so for my friends to commission me, you know, in a way, to commission me to draw my own character, it just, it just made me really happy, so thank you, Lou. <laughs> this has definitely been one of my favorite pieces of all time, and... I do think that you can actually tell that it is one of my favorites just because in the end it looks really good. <laughs> Even though it's not shaded, there is no shading on these characters at all. It's just flat colors with a little bit of hair shine and colored line art. But in the end, with all the glowing effects and stuff, it looks really nice even though it's not shaded. And I just think that that is so cool. Like, I have the ability to make even a simple artwork look really cool without shading it. Isn't that just so cool? I think that's really cool. I had a lot of fun with these actually. Drawing these little furry, like, um, chibi like characters it's a lot of fun there's a big difference between these furries and anime characters like their anatomy is different and i love their little faces their faces their snouts their little their little mouths they are just so fucking cute they're absolutely adorable and i adore drawing little fuzzy faces I love drawing little paws and drawing all the little toe beans and fluffy tails and big ears. You know, I fucking love furries. I do not understand why they get so much hate on the internet. They are absolutely lovely people and their characters are just so adorable. I just don't understand how you can hate them. They're so cute. Recently, I've actually been thinking of drawing more furry characters. So what do you think about that? Let me know in the comments what I should draw. Maybe you have some favorite cartoon characters or something that I could draw? I've been thinking about maybe Sonic characters and my little pony characters. Since there's this new gen of ponies coming out soon, I was thinking of maybe drawing them. Not sure if I would be drawing them in Anthro or just normal like ponies though. Why not both, you know? Why not both? To be honest, I have so many art ideas. It's really hard to sit, sit straight sometimes because I'm like bouncing up and down like, Oh my gosh, I wanna draw ponies, but then I wanna draw Anthro ponies and then I wanna draw like furries and then little furries and big furries and blah 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 blah. <laughs> If you have any ideas for my drawings, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to, to look at them. Uh, follow me on Twitch, by the way, if you haven't yet. That is where I spend most of my time these days. I am trying my best to be a streamer, but I'm not sure how well that's working out for me. But you know, I love doing it, so I'm gonna continue. Alright, see you later. <laughs>